now what can a flow do now you must be thinking it's all theoretical as of now but yeah let's paint this entire picture and then we'll go to the actual canvas and we'll see how things look like in the flow in the flow world inside salesforce but let's understand the theoretical concepts because they they are equally important to set the baseline structure don't think that you know this is just a powerpoint or a keynote presentation that himanshu is producing and sharing with us just just like one uh, just like uh, the other uh, keynotes that you see but what we discuss here will form a very strong baseline in terms of what flows are what are we trying to achieve why am i here telling you this and why are you here consuming this content right so we will try to figure and we'll try to understand all of this and at the end be able to collate it and understand okay yes this is what i read this is what i understood and this is how i should be able to implement so yeah this makes sense right salesforce makes sense so what can a flow do it can create records for you yes it can it can update it can delete records see it can even delete records for you right so if you write a script you had to write a SQL query you had to run a for loop you had to choose which records to delete and you would have to write the dml command but now that can be done via flows right workflows did not let you do that right now deletion is possible in flows do you want to send emails do you want to send surveys do you want to send notifications do you want to submit records for approval all of this can be done in flows most of it was available in up in process builders same things are also available here okay but there were some limitations with process builders flows gives you a bit more advantage a bit more capabilities now can you even have some user interaction can you have users set fill in some set of values just how they create records and then when they click on the submit button do some actions out of it yeah you can do that with flows you do you have something that's called screen flows okay can you run another flow when this flow is executed if a flow is executed i want to run the p flow can that be done yes that can be done can you embed a flow inside a flow yes you can even do that okay what about accessing external systems yes you can do custom invocable actions you can send outbound messages this was with workflows and you did not have it in process builders you can do this in flows right can you make a call out to third party systems yes that can be done can you call a custom invocable action even that can be done which is nothing but a server call right a server apex call so all of these capabilities are available in flow now you must be thinking oh this is a lot well, yes, we will be covering a lot and we will be looking at pretty much most of the use cases that we, we, we can do to certify that, yes, I am good with flows and give me any task that requires automation and I should be able to build a flow around it and solve your use case. That's the confidence that we'll try to build in with this particular curriculum. All right.